Um, yeah, and we will we will post this. We're going to put up um, on the website um, a folder entitled grantee kits, and we'll have this in there. So when that's up, I can send everybody a link to that and, and let you know how that is. And then um, for those of you who are just logging on, if you would just put your name and your program in the group chat, I will begin. Hello, Tierney. Trying to see everybody as they come on. Lisa Conrad, nice to see you. So I'm gonna share my screen and we can begin. And then at the end, if you have any questions, please, um, we'll have time for that. Okay. All right, so everybody sees my screen? Yes. All right, so welcome again. And again, this uh, is being recorded and will be posted on the website. And um, if people are still logging on, just write your names in the group chat so I know who attended. And my name is Heather Ayers. I'm the Director of Grant Administration at Newark Arts. And I will be a person during the Art Start Grant cycle. So um, I really look forward to working with you all and getting to know you all and hopefully answering any questions that you have. So, again. All right, this is the list of all of our Art Start Grant um, awardees this year. So we received so many um, well-executed, really, applications that we're just proud to be able to help as many of you as we can. And we have, we have a lot this year. There are 26 of you. Congratulations. I'm going to um, show you some um, links that I'll share with you um, that are on our webpage. And um, they're just pages that you might wanna see. So the first one will take you here to the state of the arts on our grant page. If you scroll through, we have a little booklet that shows all the awarded grantees. So I have to go back. There is that one, and that was newarcarts.org slash artstart slash soda 2022. And another one is newarcarts.org slash artstart slash green. So here, that takes you to this page. And on this page, again, another listing of all the artstart recipients. And this plus sign. On the side here, we'll do a drop down, give you more information about the organizations who were awarded the Arts Art Grants. And then um, if you gave us any pictures, some of the pictures may be uploaded as well onto that site. So this is a site where we ask you to upload photos and videos. Um, for marketing purposes, we'll use these files to promote your activities and to promote Art Start. We ask that you label the files with names, the photographer credits, or, and the grant title, or anything to make them identifiable, so that when we use them, we know who they are and and you know how we're using them. So, when that takes you, what you're uploading to is our one drive, and so we'll have files stored there. I don't stay in record. I can't. <laughs> Had a question or no, we're good? Yeah. Okay. So in your acceptance notifications, you receive three attachments, a W-9, an ACH form, and the grant agreement. <laughs> All the forms should be filled out and returned. If you have a fiscal agent, it's their information that you need to provide on these forms. So in the W-9, there's a place for a signature here. The ACH form, we ask that you submit a canceled check or a copy of uh, a bank statement. And the bank statement, what we want to have included in that is the account owner's name and the account number, everything else you can black out. And of course the bank name. But um, we've had, because we ask for this information because sometimes people will write an account number incorrectly. And if we send an ACH payment um, it's harder to retract and that just causes delays in you receiving your grant. So we're trying to make it as smooth as possible for you to receive your grants 
the Art Start um, grant award um, agreement is here. And uh, on this, we ask how you would like your funds dispersed. So again, if you're doing the ACH, you have to return the ACH form, a canceled check or a bank statement. And if you want to check, it does say Newark mailing address, but that, that is not required. It's a mailing address where you will receive the check is what we want. And again, the grantee needs to sign it, uh, write your name, sign it, and date it. And um, OK, so we no longer ask for midterm reports. Um, in the past, we did. but. But so what we're going to do instead of a midterm report is probably in January or February, we'll start reaching out to you and we'll ask you how your program is doing. We'll touch base and learn about your progress. Final reports will be posted and made available through submittable in January or February. And when they are um, posted and made live through submittable, submittable will send you an email and um, so you will be able to access it then. The final reports are due no later than June 1st, 2023. So that's a date to keep on your calendar. Yes, and know. the expectation is that final reports yes, will be completed within 30 yeah. days of your program's completion. So if your program completed in November, when we open up the final reports, uh, you guys can fill out the form and submit it then. If your program ends in April, submit your report. Yeah, in if it ends though, um, if it hasn't been completed and it's May 31st, because you do have through the month of June to complete your activities, reach out to me and we can decide um, if you want an extension for your final report due date, or if you just want to submit it as is, and then we can always reopen it if you have other things to add. So we'll just, we're going to try and keep open communication oh, yes. okay. for all of us. Um, and then another thing is the email that you used for submittable, that's the email that all the contact will be going. So we'll be, um, so you have to make sure that you check that email, you know, periodically for um, any contacts or outreach. You can also log into your account at submittable and, and go and see the messages through that too. And then um, as far as marketing, if you wanna make an announcement on your platforms that you received a grant, uh, we created through Canva, which is a free online platform, um, a template for you to use. And so you would go to that, you would open it up, use template. This is a free platform. You might have to um, create an account, but it doesn't cost you any money. And then you can fill it in with all your information, announce your good news on your social networks. And you can insert photos, project name, and, and anything else that you'd like to use. So that's one um, that we created. And here is another one. They're very similar. They have the same look for Art Start. Again, click on Use Template. And you can put your information here and you can share this on your social medias. And that is basically it. Um, if you have any questions, I'm gonna stop sharing and we can open up for conversations. Um, the grant W9 ACH form and grant agreement should be um, uploaded through this submittable email. So you, you, you know, you would send them in as an attachment. And I don't know, do you have any questions about? Hi, Heather, I do have a question. Hi, who's that, Lillian? Lillian. Hi, Lillian, nice to see you. Good to see you. I was wondering, how do we access the Canva? So the Canva, so we're gonna, I'm gonna send a link with all oh, okay. the emails, um, I mean, all the, um, you know, with all the links that, that I posted here, because just so you have them. So that'll be through through an email, through Submittable, I'll give you the list. Then oh, also awesome. um, Cindy Sanchez, who's our graphic designer at Newark Art, she's going to put on our website um, under arts.org, under newarkarts.org slash artstart. There'll be um, a folder that she's going to entitle. 
grantee kits. And that will contain like this video and other other links or information that you may that you may need. And it'll awesome. link up to Canva. I love that you all did that. Makes oh, it looks super professional. Thank fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. And are there any other questions? Did, was there any, is anyone having difficulty with submittable or with anything? Um, I had a question. I'm still waiting for or, the W9. Yes. Hi, it's Aura. Hi, Smith. Yes, hi, Aura. Hi, I'm still waiting for the um, W9 um, form from the clerk at my school. Okay, um, I, I did see that. I did see okay. that. So we'll, we'll be in touch. And um, it might be, I was just told this morning, it might actually be like from the whole board of ed, not the, not the, exact school. So I, I have to get more information on that. So I'll reach out to you. So. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Any other questions or concerns or? Uh, just one question to follow up on, on her statement. When, when is the deadline to submit the W-9 and the rest oh, of the paperwork? Thank you. That was supposed to be, I was supposed to tell you that. So um, July 1st, which is this Friday, but I'm going to tell you truthfully, this is a holiday weekend. I'm not doing anything with it. So if you don't get it done, um, you really have like the fifth and the sixth. After that though, it'll start delaying because I'm hoping that if you guys can give me all the information, maybe around the 11th or into the second week of July, we'll be able to issue the payments. Okay. So thank you. Yeah, so the sooner you get it up, the sooner sooner we can go on our end. But, um, but I do understand that some of you are not dealing dealing with organizations and other groups. So, and, um, and then again, just to reiterate the W-9 and the ACH, if you have a fiscal agent, that's their information. We pay your fiscal agent and in turn your fiscal agent pays you. Okay, thank you. Yes, Danny. Hi, so um, I unknowingly logged in under my purse. I have a submit. I didn't know this, but I have a submittable from years ago under my personal email address. Okay. So apparently that's the one that I used. And now oh, okay. that the granting stuff has been punted to the administrative helper at the organization. Um, she's probably doing the W9 stuff. So um, I'm guessing they have a business submittable as well under. So is that going to cause confusion? Should I just really try to stick to the one it, that it I has to be? Through? Yeah. So unfortunately, and submittable is difficult this way. You can't. So it has to be through the account that did the application. So the okay. submittable account. So that'll be your application. And and people have said, you know, well, I don't use that email address anymore. I haven't seen a way that you can update um, your email address. So for the term of this grant. For the cycle of this grant, you need to maintain that email address. And then next year, if you're applying again and you don't want that email, I think you have to create a whole new submittable account. Okay. So um, just make sure though that you know you guys maintain that email address that you used for your application. Okay. So that's gonna cost you a little bit of a headache, but yeah. <laughs> so she, I'll just make sure she forwards the W9. She gives it to, to you and then all you the can stuff. It. Yeah. And I do it through my email address. That would be great. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Claire. Yeah, no, thank you. Any other questions? Uh, yes. Who is that? Hi. Uh, Tierney. Oh, hi, Tierney. Uh, Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi. Yep. So if we are requesting payment by check uh, from you by check mm -hmm. instead of an ACH, do you still need a voided check from us? No, we but don't need the ACH form. We don't need the voided check. We don't need the bank statement. Just give us the W-9 that has, you know, your legal address. And then on the um, grant agreement form, let us know if, you know, there's an address that it needs to be mailed to. Great, thank you. Okay. So are there any other questions? Hey, Heather, how are you? Thank you yeah. for this. It's Fallon. Yes, hey, Fallon. Um, uh, um, when I was going in, I don't know, submittable sometimes is weird for me. I, I think it might depend on where you open it up from, but it wasn't giving me the option to upload any documents. So I actually had a conversation with Cindy this morning because someone who was filing um, for last year for their final report wasn't able to upload documents. And Cindy said that they had like it was several weeks where they had some kind of glitch, but she said she had just received an email that that should be straightened out. So hopefully, um, hopefully you're not going to experience that anymore, but they, they had some ongoing glitch that they couldn't find the root of. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So, I thought yeah. it, so it wasn't me. Okay. So but, it shouldn't be you, but also um, somebody had said to me, but I haven't heard this that, um, you know, like maybe you want to make sure you're on Chrome, not, not other platforms, but yeah, that was my experience. Uh, was that you, Dan, Chrome, that said? But yeah, it was me. It worked on Chrome, but I couldn't get it to work on Safari. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so it may be it may be friendlier with some platforms. Right. Yeah. So, any other comments about Submittable? It's a great program, but it does it does just like everything have its have its little glitch. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 then we do ask you to keep everything in there because it just makes it easier for us because to have all your information in in the one platform. So if there are no other questions, then I'm just going to say thank you. I will send an email out today with all the links, and you can also um, go on to newarcarts.org under the Art Start pages. Um, not today, but soon there will be that um, file that has Art Start grantee information in it. Okay. I, have, I have one quick question. Yes, you. Elise. So, yes, so um, you initially emailed information to one email address and was that link for the submittables in that first email or was that something where we submitted the grant from the first place? Because um, I don't have that submittables email. Carter Glenn, I'm going to have to look up and I'll, I can tell you which email submittable will be going through. Okay. Um, if you want to, because I didn't realize it was a link to upload the documents. I thought we were just supposed to email the documents. Yeah, I mean, you can. So I think so. If you go into your submittable platform, you can hit reply to the email or even even through your email, you should be able to hit reply. And and then that'll take it to, to my submittable email where I where it'll all be uploaded into that. Is this a minimal platform what we use to apply for the grant? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so it's all in that. So we oh, need that okay. email address. Those That login credentials is what you're going to use always to access oh, it. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yes. And anything else? If not, I appreciate your time. It was quick, but hopefully, hopefully I gave you the information you needed. So if you can get your um, forms in by July 1st or early next week, that's fantastic. Um, we're going to try and get the grants out the second week of July. Um, then I will be reaching out to you. I, I'll be reaching out to you if I don't get your information. So don't worry about that. But then um, if everything goes as planned, it'll be the new year that you start hearing from me again. And then June 1st is when your final reports are due. And then upload information to Cindy's uh, URL and I will send you all that information. So thank you, everybody. Marvelous. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.